Madden NFL 12, ready to be for everyone. EA Sports, it's in the game. This Bulls team is going to be something special. The Los Angeles Lakers face a ton of questions. The big difference between winning one and winning two, they will chase it for another year. It hurts now, but what a future for Kevin Durant and the Thunder. A bitter finish to a year that was really a championship of failure. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The Heisman Trophy presentation is presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. And in part by Aflac, an official partner of the Heisman Trophy. And Vonage. Sounds good. what these guys have said the the heart is coming through the shirt right now we're about to have the announcement but please welcome first the 23 former heisman trophy winners who are with us tonight from the 50s john latner notre dame hop cassidy ohio state and john hewitt from notre dame mike garrett usc gary beban ucla into the 70s now jim plunkett from stanford johnny rogers nebraska archie griffin in 74 and 75 ohio state tony dorsett from pitt George Rogers from South Carolina, Mike Rogier, Nebraska, Doug Flutie, Boston College, Vinny Testaverde, his silver anniversary this year from Miami, Tim Brown from Notre Dame in the 90s, Ty Detmer, our own Desmond Howard from Michigan, Gino Toretta, Miami, Charlie Ward, Florida State, Danny Werfel, Florida, and of course Ron Dane from Wisconsin. In the 2000s, Chris Winky, Florida State, Eric Crouch, Nebraska, and Troy Smith, Ohio State, looking very captain tonight. Welcome back. These men are ready to welcome a new member. And now to make the announcement, please welcome Heisman Trophy trustee, Carol Pisano. Carol. Good evening. I hope that you've enjoyed the show so far. Of course, the best is yet to come. But before I announce the 2011 winner of the Heisman Trophy, I'd like to thank all of the previous Heisman winners in attendance tonight for being here to root on this year's finalists. I'd also like to thank our Heisman partners. Without their support, the Heisman could not continue its charitable mission. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank the finalists for the excitement that they brought to this year's Heisman race. You are truly examples of what the Heisman stands for. Outstanding performance on the college football field. Congratulations to each of you. And now the moment we've been waiting for, it is my pleasure to announce that the 2011 winner of the Heisman Trophy is Robert Griffin III, RG3! Uh, has, a, has a reason to celebrate tonight. 
Um, you know, to my teammates, I'd like to say thank you. And as we say, uh, the hotter the heat, the harder the steel. No pressure, no diamonds. We compete, we win, we are Baylor. Baylor we are and Baylor will always be. But it's up to us to define what that means, and this Heisman Trophy is only the beginning of that process. To Baylor Nation, I say this is a forever kind of moment. May we be blessed enough to have many more like it in the future. God always has a plan. And in this moment, um, you know, God always has a plan, and it's our job to fulfill it. And in this moment, we have. To my dad, my mom, my fiance, my sisters, Jahan and Dejan, uh, my beautiful niece, Hope, to my family, to my friends, to my teammates, to Coach Browse and the coaching staff, to the Baylor administration and Ken Starr, uh, to the city of Coppers Cove, to the city of Waco, and all of Baylor Nation, I say thank you for all your love and support through the tough times like knee surgeries and glorious moments like this one. Uh, thank you to the Heisman Trophy Trust and all the Heisman Trophy winners for giving me a chance to be a part of this family. And uh, you know, last but not least, I want to thank God for giving me all these, uh, these great people to be in my life. Uh, thank you. Chance to know some of his yes, Heisman facility you. members. Thank you. Something special to be the first from your school to do it. Some of these guys <laughs> know that feeling. My finger knew it two years ago. Come on over. Beat the rest of the group. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. You can clutch this thing. Yeah, nurse. I think I can. As it begins to sink in, I said it weighs 25 pounds, but it carries a measurable weight, as these guys can tell you, and I think you'll, you'll enjoy being a part of this group. Pick it up. Give it a shot. Can we pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Take a look at the, the final results now. It was Robert collecting 405 first place votes, a total of 600 or 1,687 points. That's a 280 point margin over Andrew Luck, who was a runner up for the second consecutive year. That makes it three consecutive years that a Stanford Cardinal is the runner up. Tess? This was one this year. I'm going to point to the South region. Here's the real key to this Heisman voting this year. The finalists in the South did not carry their own region. Robert Griffin III had 303 points out of the South. That was unexpected. He dominated the Southwest, but out in the Far West, Andrew Luck, of course, wins the Far West, but guys like Matt Barkley and Case Keenum and Kellen Moore did shave down some of that point total of the available points out in the far west. Now the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic, they both went with Robert Griffin III slightly over Andrew Luck, maybe for some a closer than expected race, but this Heisman was won with what happened in the South region as Robert Griffin III overtakes the two finalists from the South. And timing did of course play a big role. You know, Andrew and Trent not able to play on that final Saturday, and it was a late surge for, for Robert. Tom? Thanks very much, Chris. Alongside Andrew Luck, certainly disappointment, great accomplishment, yet disappointment for all the finals. But as runner.